Hi there, and welcome to my second podcast. In this one, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my YouTube channel. Now, I've been doing this since 2015, and when I first started the channel, I was a bar soap purist. I was only ever going to review bar soaps, and I was adamant about it back in the day. But luckily, a lot of you out there did talk me into getting around to trying body washes and incorporating them into my YouTube channel. And I'm glad you did. It has made things more exciting. I enjoy using a bar soap one week and then a body wash the next. Who knows? I, I might have burnt out after a while if I had only reviewed bar soaps exclusively. Um, in the beginning, I did look around to see how many competitors I was going to have before I started the channel. And I was really super psyched to see that I was going to be the only um, bar soap reviewer on YouTube. In fact, to this day, I'm still the only exclusive reviewer of bar soaps and body washes. And that's been maybe perhaps my biggest letdown. I really do enjoy competition. It helps me to raise the bar. Um, without it, it's been sort of a slow, um, prolonged struggle to uh, keep, I don't know, focused and really um, improve the channel. Because, you know, without, without a fight, without someone to compete against, it, it, it is harder to innovate. But I have been growing nonetheless. Uh, when I first started, it, it was just like yesterday when I had my Kirkland and Dove Beauty Bar reviews, my first handful of subscribers. And of course, my uh, biggest milestone back in the day was 24 views in 24 hours. I was so thrilled about that. And now it is 2019 and I've got over 6,000 subscribers. I'm coming up on the 2 million views mark, which I'll hit in a few months. And there's actually someone watching me every minute of every hour of every day. And that's really hard for me to wrap my, uh, my mind around. But uh, for those of you out there who are watching me, thank you for uh, coming to my YouTube channel. There's this awesome tool provided by YouTube called YouTube Analytics. And we're going to delve into that just a little bit here. Um, it allows me to see a lot of uh, generalized data points. There's no personal information, so don't worry about that for you, the viewer. I gain, on average, about 160 new subscribers a month. My watch time, which is total minutes watched of me each month, is, on average, about 80,000 minutes. And I have um, 60,000 views a month, um, give or take. My top uh, three videos are actually the Dove White Beauty Bar. Uh, Beauty Bar. It's my first, my most popular video to this day. Second one is my video called Why I Love Bar Soap. And if you've never seen that, you should check it out. Third one is Irish Springs Original Review. And uh, surprisingly enough, my fourth most popular video is Kirkland's Body Soap Review, Worst Bar Soap Ever. And uh, they're still selling it in Kirkland. I cannot believe that. Just, I mean, and it, it remains the worst bar soap I have ever used. And I'm at, I'm at 384 videos. And uh, it is still by far the worst. So uh, that, congratulations, Kirkland. That's amazing. All right, there's another tool here called Real Time in the data subpoints, and it allows me to see in real time uh, what's going on with my channel. So, for instance, in the last 60 minutes, I've had 72 views. And over the last 48 hours, I've had, on average, 4,000 views, which is really great. Now, it also allows me to see easily the last, um, give or take, 15 videos that I've created. So I can see uh, the last 48-hour views for those videos and of course the last 60 minutes and it looks like there's someone watching my smartly smells like summertime video right now jumping over to the overview again we're going to talk about the uh, demographics of my channel now i'm sure a lot of you do assume rightly so that the majority of my viewership is female and that is uh, is certainly the case but it's actually a lot closer to 50 50 percent than you would imagine um, I, if I had to, now YouTube does show it as being closer to 50-50, but uh, having done this for as long as I have, I know that it's probably more like um, high 50s for female viewership. But it's great to have as many men as I do. I do certainly review a lot of feminine products, and one of the reasons for that has traditionally been the fact that they do have far more products than us guys. In fact, if I only ever reviewed products for men, I'd probably be done with this channel like two, two years ago. Um, but it is great to say that as time is progressing, certainly they are coming out with more products for us guys. And it's great to see there are other men out there who are just as interested in having a great shower experience as I am. Now, uh, let's, let's kind of uh, look at the age range of the uh, demographics here. So, 
My largest percentage uh, for females is the 25 to 35 year old demographic, which is a point of pride for me because if you don't know, if you didn't hear the first podcast, that is a segment of the market that everyone wants. If you can get them watching your YouTube channel where you're reviewing products and you are certainly doing something right. My next largest demographic for women is the 18 to 24 year olds. Jumping over on the side for men, the largest demographic are 18 to 24 year old men, followed by 25 to 35 year old guys. So uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea. And then uh, as people get older, they are less inclined to come watch video reviews of bar soaps because probably you really know what you like as you've gotten older and you tend to stick with that. And there is a, a few percentage points of children who watch the channel as well. Back to the overview, and I'm sort of clicking around on my desktop right now as I rattle off these statistics for you. My top five geographies for um, viewership, United States, Canada, Philippines, India, and the United Kingdom. I am hopeful that uh, at some point later this year, I will get over to the UK and purchase a bunch of their bar soaps and body washes. And when I began this channel, I did most of my shopping in store. So if you ever see one of my reviews and I can't quite remember how much I paid for something, that's likely because I purchased it two to three months before. And yeah, I forgot the price. I, I wasn't always the best at marking down, um, you know, taking notes for how much I paid for something. Even today, I'm still not quite 100%, but I am getting there yet. And while I still do in-store shopping, I really have begun to exhaust places like Walmart, uh, Target, things like that. Even Whole Foods and Sprouts, I've, I've hit up a lot of their products. So I just recently stopped at Bath and Body Works and I will be doing more online shopping. I just got some, uh, what was it? Uh, Duke Cannon and then some other products online, which you'll see in the near future. And for those of you who don't know, one of the reasons that you don't see my reviews immediately after I purchase products are that because I have an Instagram channel. So what I do first is before I use the products, I take them out and I try to get some really awesome pictures. And if you're interested in uh, seeing my Instagram channel, it is Bar Soap Guy. So there you go. Enjoy. What else? Um, uh, I really wish I had a little Q&A here. That would certainly help with the uh, talking. I'm, I'm not much of a talker. I'm more of a listener. I guess you could say. Now, there is a new community tab on YouTube that's allowing me to post different uh, things. For instance, I just ran a poll where I had four different soaps up and I asked you, the viewers, what you wanted to see reviewed next. And I plan to do more of that in the future, but one lesson I did learn from that very first poll is that I probably want to separate them based on gender. That way women won't dominate every single poll. And, uh, but there are so many, so many tools that uh, I can use now to see what you're interested in and also to communicate with you. I do enjoy talking to the viewership, answering questions you might have. I read every single comment. It might take me a while to get back to you, but uh, I generally do try to do that. And uh, I'm always here. So if you have any questions or you just want to leave a comment, say I make a video review and you think that the soap that I hate is the best soap ever. Well, please feel free to leave the comment. I, I love a variety of different opinions because we're certainly not all going to feel the same way about every single product. And speaking of the products, I think one of the uh, sad points too for this channel has been that uh, there's been a trend recently, it seems like, where people who are making the soaps are doing it almost like it's high fashion and every year they're rolling out new products. So a lot of my older videos are really becoming um, irrelevant just because those products have been discontinued. And in some cases, those were really popular bar soaps. For instance, the Moroccan oil original soap. A lot of people loved it. And then they got rid of it one day. And I've seen those complaints. I tried to reach out to Moroccan oil. haven't had any success with that. Um, I don't think they want to bring back their original bar soap just because it probably competes a little bit too much with their um, body wash, which I'm sure they have higher pro uh, profit margins from. So, you know, business is, of course, business. But uh, what else? So I'm trying to stay relevant. Oh, I did add a bunch of uh, new technology to my YouTube channel. When I first started, I used two lamps in my bedroom. And I had a really awesome, expensive camera back in the day. It was a Sony Handycam. And uh, you fast forward to today, and it's kind of a subpar camera. It's 1080. But uh, I did go out and I purchased another camera. Also, not a very expensive camera, but the technology has advanced so much that this like inexpensive camera is better than my original Handycam. And I also got two um, actual lights. So the lighting in my bedroom will be a lot better. 
And while I do intend to continue filming outside, I have been so busy lately, and it's also been, like, ridiculously cold. Well, Arizona cold, not, not like, you know, freezing like it has been for the rest of the country. But uh, anything below 60 is uh, unpleasant, I would describe. And uh, to the point where you just, like, you know, you don't want to leave your house. I know. I love to brag about that to those of you <laughs> who live in cold weather climates. I know you hate me for that, but I'm just never going to stop. But, uh, yeah, so anyways... I will be doing more outdoor work, especially now that I do have a shotgun mic, because that was one of the biggest complaints with prior videos I'd done outdoors, is that it was hard to hear me, and it detracted from the videos. But that's not going to be the case in the future. I just have to have the time and motivation to get back outside. So hopefully I will be able to uh, make that happen. But uh, So yeah, I just intend to continue reviewing more soaps in the future, and, uh, you know, I love hearing your recommendations for new products. So keep those coming. And that's about it. So, hey, I wanted to thank you for joining me today, give you a brief overview of my YouTube channel, and just have another chat with you. So I will see you next time. Enjoy your day.